Right, so I'm going to convince you to watch this show in under two minutes. All right, let's go. Peaky Blinders is a brilliant show. From its character, plot, cinematography, and music, it's just, it's insane. I've been addicted to this show ever since the second episode into the first season. I was completely hooked. The characters are phenomenal. Thomas Shelby, probably the most iconic TV characters in modern TV series, you know, the streaming services and stuff. Hands down, he is so good. Killian Murphy, killed this role. He is just incredibly good at this. I don't know how he managed to go from, you know, Scarecrow in Batman or that wimpy crying kid from Inception to this guy. He is just phenomenal. I mean, all right, looking back, he's actually pretty fucking good in those roles as well. Like, he's a brilliant actor in general. I just think this role really made him bring out something that we haven't seen from him. God, he is so charming, so sexy. He is so calculating, intelligent. Thomas Shelby has become one of my favorite characters pretty much right away after I started watching Peaky Blinders. The thing is, not only the main character is really well written, all the supporting characters and the side characters and the villains are all super well written in this show as well. You have Arthur, John, Michael, Ada, Polly, Lizzie, all of them are just have this such strong characteristics and all of them are unique in their own ways and contribute to the family or the, the Shelby Company Limited. They all have their strengths as well as their weaknesses. And what I really like about the way they wrote characters in the show is often their strength is their weaknesses. The villains are really, really well written as well. All of them are characters with genuine motivations, whether it's revenge, whether it's for personal gain, or a mixture of both. And the plot also is very interesting, basically every single season. So each season only has six episodes, which allows them to tell the story in such an efficient way with no filler episodes, with no garbage stuffed in between. The story is so coherent and consistent from the beginning of the season to the end of the season. And the stories are always very intricately written in the way that it's very interesting and complicated, but it's not complicated in a way that it's convoluted and hard to understand. From the beginning of the season, basically the first two episodes in, you'll be able to know exactly what the main characters want and who stands in their way and what the villains want as well. And you basically get an idea of all the barriers they're gonna have to go through, all the things they have to overcome in order to achieve their goal. The, some of the methods that the characters think of in order to achieve their goal is just, is just brilliant. The cinematography on this is absolutely amazing. The production quality is way up there. I started watching this and I thought I was watching a feature film. The, the scenes, the shots are beautifully shot, the colours are amazing and it's just such an enjoyable process watching this series. The soundscape, the music, fucking incredible once again. I, I, really, I really need to start finding a better way to describe this show but I, I'm just, I'm really really addicted and <laughs> I'm really hooked. I, honestly, I'm probably quite biased, but I really, really like this show. Uh, the music, Red Right Hand, that song has been stuck in my head. I'm basically constantly humming it because it makes me feel like a badass. That's probably as far as I would just, I would go into the show as to why you should watch it. Uh, because I really don't want to go in too much depth and end up spoiling the story for everybody. But seriously, if by now you're convinced by my enthusiasm and my passion, give this video a like and hit the subscribe button if you haven't already. And seriously, this is just, I highly, highly recommend Peaky Blinders.